How many different types of RVs are there? Stick around and find out. Hi guys, welcome to RV Blogger with Mike in front of the camera and of course Susan is behind the camera. If this is your first time here at our channel, thanks for stopping by. We try to make all kinds of YouTube videos all about RVing and we also have a website where we have hundreds of blog articles about RVing as well. So we hope we can share all of our information with you to help you become the best RVer that you can be. Today we're going to be talking about types and styles of RVs that are out there. And so if, if you're a beginner RVer, this is probably a great video for you, just so you can learn all about the different classes and types and styles of RVs. We kind of break things down into two main categories. The first category is drivable RVs, and the second category is towable RVs. So for your drivable types, you have a type A, B, C, and a Super C. And we also put a truck camper in that category, although some people might consider that towable. It could kind of go either way. And then for the towable RVs, we have a travel trailer, a hybrid, which is sort of a cross between a travel trailer and a pop-up camper. We have pop-up campers. We also have fifth wheels. And we also have toy haulers. But not to confuse you, a toy hauler can actually be a class A, a class C, a super C, a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, and even a pop-up camper can have a toy hauler component to it as well. So it's a little confusing. That's why we thought it might be a really good idea to make this video so we can sort of show you each and every type and style so you can have a really good basic understanding of each type of RV that's out there. We don't go into a great amount of detail. We really are just trying to give an overview so everybody has a good idea. So with that being said, let's get started with our reviews. So this is a class A RV and class A RVs are the RVs that we typically think of that look like they're a gigantic bus rolling down the road. But the big advantages to a class A RV are obviously its size and also its towing capacity. Class A RVs sometimes come with diesel engines. They're able to pull a car behind them and you very often see people rolling down the road, pulling their Jeep behind them. It's really a pretty cool setup. But the other big advantage to a Class A RV is if you're going to live in an RV full time and you want all the comforts of home, then this is definitely the RV for you. As you can see, it's huge and spacious. And the reason for that is because Class A RVs will oftentimes have bump outs on both sides of the RV. And so instead of being eight feet wide, this RV feels like, and I think it is, about 15 feet wide. So you really have a lot of living space. You actually have a family room or a living room space. It's got a televator over here for the TV. Pretty cool feature. And then it's got some pretty nice recliners. Uh, you can kick back and watch some TV, relax. Very spacious sized kitchen. Plenty of countertop space. I like this kind of cooktop. It's super easy to clean. Induction burners that are super nice. It's got a convection, uh, convection microwave oven. Does not have a dishwasher. So, Susan, honey, I think you're going to be busy. Oh, oh I'm in trouble now. <laughs> and then look at all the remote controls. You think you, <laughs> you need to run everything in here. I mean, this is insane. There's a remote control for everything. I think there's at least three TVs in here. Uh, you probably have a remote control for the televator that pops up. I mean, it's it's just off the hook. Uh, the dinette area, super nice. This is this is this folds in so that when this slide out moves in, there's room for the slide outs to meet in the middle. But a nice spacious dinette, plenty of room. You could work here very easily. And if you lived in here, you know you'd feel like you're at home. I mean, we're walking on what look like marble floors. I mean, this is really, really super nice. Another nice feature in, in the Class A RVs is a half bath out here in the, in the family room area. So if you're hanging out with friends or family or whatever, they don't have to go all the way past your bedroom to get into the bathroom. This is a full-size residential refrigerator. So plenty of room for food and 
all that good stuff. Tons of room in here. Then in the master bedroom, you have a really nice king size bed. You can get out of bed on both sides. Plenty of storage over top. This is also a bump Should out that goes out, which even creates here, more space in here. There's also a fireplace in the bedroom, which is really nice for those romantic evenings. More storage space behind the fireplace, which is cool. And then of course you have your TV. And then you have double, well I'll open this one so you can see it better. Tons more storage, plenty of drawer space. Look how deep these drawers are, really nice. If I was going to live in an RV, I would probably pick... Oh, there's a little safe in there. Ah, I would live in something like this full time if I could afford it. But anyway, and then look at this bathroom. This thing is crazy. It's huge. It's got a glass shower. It's got huge vanity. All kinds of storage. Plenty of counter space. I don't like that. I wish they opened the other way so you could maybe open from the middle. But anyway, lots of space. These seem backwards to me. <laughs> it's not intuitive. I keep, I keep grabbing the wrong end. Um, this shower stall is phenomenal. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> sure. It's uh, semi-frameless, so it's really pretty nice. It's a little flimsy, but not bad at all. And nice wardrobe. I know you're liking this. You can hang up your clothes. I think there's stuff on this side, but that's okay. And then the final piece for full-time RV living is a washer and dryer. I think, there you go. Separate washer and dryer. You know, pretty decent size actually. High efficiency, not bad. This is a class A RV. So another kind of RV is a class B RV, which is basically a van that's been converted into an RV. And one of the big advantages of a class B RV is that it's easy to drive. You're not towing anything. It's small, it's compact. You can park it in a regular size parking spot. So. If you stop at Walmart or you stop at a grocery store, you don't have to park way at the back end of the parking lot. You can park pretty much wherever you want. But another nice feature with the Class Bs is they're just easy to drive. Some of them come as a 4x4 model and you're able to go off the beaten trail with those. But with a Class B, they take everything they possibly can and make the space as efficient as possible. So in a Class B RV, you would actually sleep back here if both of these sofas pop out and form one bed. So you sort of get a, almost a queen size bed back here. There's also a TV, which is kind of nice if you're laying in bed for the evening or lounging, whichever way you want to do it. But it looks like an airplane, like the way these doors fold out. But they try to get as much storage in here as possible for you. Actually have a screen netting so you can open up the back door, close this off, keep the bugs out. It's kind of nice. It makes you feel like you're sleeping in a tent a little bit and you can enjoy the fresh air. Also in a Class B RV, uh, they do have uh, wet bathrooms. And we'll take a look at this one. They sort of have a sliding door here. For those of you that don't know, a wet bath just means that your bathroom and your toilet are all in the same room. Which I guess is great because having a wet bath is better than not having a bath at all. But the big disadvantage to it is, is every time you take a shower, you have to go and wipe out all of the water from the bathroom. Or every time you use the bathroom, your feet get wet, your shoes get wet, and you end up tracking water all throughout your RV. So. It's a little bit inconvenient, but again, it's better than not having anything. Also in Class B RVs, it's very common to see the kitchen sink end up in front of the door. There's usually a screen that can pull across here to keep all the bugs out so you can leave the door open. This particular kitchen has a really nice feature, which is a cover that goes over top of the sink to increase your countertop space. And then uh, this has a refrigerator in it, 
this refrigerator is kind of weird because there's no real freezer in there. It's kind of just a uh, little freezer drawer. You could put a couple of ice trays in there and maybe that's about it. And then it's also very common in a Class B RV to see the passenger and the driver's seat turn around completely just to give you extra seating inside so you have extra capacity to sit down. So also a little bit of storage space up top, but not much. So that's a Class B RV. They jam a lot into a little space. Great for driving around. It's very convenient and easy to drive everywhere, but you're gonna sacrifice living space for driving convenience. Um, but if you're looking to get into all the national parks or not have to have a separate vehicle to drive around in, Class B might be a great choice. So this is a Class C RV, and it's a motorhome that is very recognizable because it has the big over cab over the front of the RV. Very often the over cab itself, two people can sleep up here. This particular one, they've actually added some small cabinetry, which is a great idea. Um, and so you have a little extra storage up there. It's also a TV up here, so if a couple kids are laying up here going to sleep, they can watch TV. Also with a class CRV, sometimes now they have these chairs that spin around so you have just a little more seating for the living area as well. So in a typical class C RV, you'll have a dining area or dinette and the dinette will typically convert into a bed. So you get, get an extra kid or two sleeping here or one adult. Also in a typical class C, it'll have a nice kitchen. It'll have you know, three burner stove, oven, microwave, uh, some decent amount of counter space, and of course a fridge and a freezer. And then finally, uh, if you get a Class C that's 22 feet or longer, you'll typically have a queen size bed, and then you'll also have a full bathroom. So this is a typical Class C RV, just so you can see what one of these looks like. If you guys have any questions about anything though, feel free to shoot us a comment below. We try to answer all the questions that come in as, as best we can. Or if you wanna see us make a particular video, let us know, we might just make one for you. So there's another class of RV that's just a little above the class C and that's called a Super C or a C plus RV. The difference between the C RV and the C plus is you'll notice that the front of the Super C RV looks like an 18 wheel truck with an over cab going over top where you can sleep. Uh, and also it's much, much larger, much more luxurious, much more heavy duty. Some of the big advantages with a Super C are its towing capacity. The Super C RVs are built on one long truck frame. They're not a split frame, so they can tow much more weight than any any CRV could ever pull. Some of the Super C's can pull weight up to 40,000 pounds. So they can tra they can pull another trailer behind them. Maybe somebody that goes to car shows or things like that might have some historic cars that they put in a trailer and they'll tow that behind them as they tour the country. But the Super C's are super luxurious, super heavy duty, extremely well built, and they're not too cheap. But anyway, uh, this one, as you can see, is like a mansion on wheels. I mean, it's got like a big screen TV, beautiful cabinetry and countertops. What looks like a marble floor in here is just amazing. The whole living area just feels large and luxurious. Uh, nice sofa area right across from the TV. Your dinette area is all wide open with individual chairs, so it has a really nice upscale feel to it. And you'll notice little details in a Super C that you won't find in other RVs, like here's the spice rack, and it actually has a little clip that holds it in place so it doesn't slide around while you're driving, and it, it's nice and big. So it has all the little details and appointments that you would expect to find in a very expensive RV of this caliber. Let's head on back and check out the rest of it. One feature I like in a lot of RVs is this one has a full bath. The shower actually has glass doors rather than a curtain, which you would expect in an RV of this of this caliber as well. 
very nice size bathroom. And the uh, vanity is kind of located across the hallway. But I like this feature because if someone's using the bathroom, somebody else can be out here getting ready. And, you know, that just seems to be a really great idea to me. And then, of course, uh, the master bedroom. Huge, luxurious, even has a ceiling fan. Lots of storage space everywhere. Windows on each side of the bed. Um, just a really nice setup. And then, of course, there's a TV in the bedroom as well so you can relax before you go to bed. So this is a Super C RV, amazing, uh, incredible in its towing capacity, and just another style or class of RV that you have to choose from. Another type or style of RV is called a truck camper. Now, truck campers are the kind of camper that mount on the back of a pickup truck. The big advantage to that is that if your pickup truck is four wheel drive, you can go off road, you can get to places where other people can't go. But truck campers are a great way to go because they're light, they're easy to store, they're very easy to drive because they fit right in the back of your pickup truck, and they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, and truck campers today have come a long way from years ago. Many of them have bathrooms, and some of them even have slide outs now, which make the inside of the truck camper feel even bigger. So why don't we head inside this one and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. This is a Northern Light truck camper and as you can see on the inside it's really pretty spacious. I mean it's very modern feel, very modern design. Plenty of room up here in the bed area, nice queen size bed. You can put a TV up here and you can see on the sides all of the storage space that you have. It's a pretty nice setup. Even has a skylight over top which is a really nice feature as well. The dinette area has this table that turns just to make life a little easier to get in and out of the dinette, which trust me, I can appreciate that. And the kitchen area for extra countertop space has a little sink cover. Of course, it has a cover over top of the range burners, which is nice just for extra space to work. And then it's got an oven as well. I think these light up knobs are pretty cool. I don't know why, it just looks neat. And then uh, a little hidden microwave here. Not really built in, I guess, but you could uh, replace it. You might even be able to get a little bit of a larger model in here. I'm getting attacked by a fly. This thing is relentless. <laughs> but all in all, it's a really cool uh, truck camper. Now, one other nice thing about it, when Susan and I switch spots, you'll be able to see. All right, so now that we switch spots, check out this refrigerator. It has a mirror front on it. Very, very smart. So you can, you know, get dressed in the morning and have a full-size mirror. Just what every camper needs. Good size fridge, which is a, and a separate freezer, which is really nice to see as well. This cabinet up here is nice and deep. Plenty of cabinet space, storage space there. And then, of course, Truck campers now come with bathrooms, and this one has a nice sized uh, wet bath that you can use. So this is what a truck camper looks like on the outside and on the inside. Lots of people use them because they're so convenient just to put on top of their existing pickup truck. You can set your jacks up and drive out from underneath of it and have a separate vehicle to drive around if you're visiting somewhere, but they're very convenient very very space efficient and just a great way to travel uh, many of you might have seen the mortons on the move and they took a tra a truck camper all the way up to alaska uh, over this past summer and um, so you know the reason they did it is because they had four-wheel drive and they could go off the beaten trail and camp in all kinds of really neat places so anyway this is what a truck camper looks like Hey guys, when you get to the end of the video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know how we're doing and you'll probably see some of our goofy bloopers too. So this is a typical travel trailer. This one happens to be about 28 feet long, weighs about 5,500 pounds. And the nice advantage with the travel trailer is you really get a lot of bang for your buck. This particular travel trailer only costs $18,000 and it has tons of really modern amenities that you would find in any camper. Um, it's pretty easy to tow because it's a lighter vehicle or a lighter RV, so you don't need as big of a vehicle to tow it. 
And um, this one has a different layout. They have tons and tons of floor plans, layouts that are available in travel trailers. So let's check this one out. So this particular travel trailer, when you walk in, you're in your living area, which feels really nice and big. It's got a bump out right here or a slide out that's about two and a half or three feet deep. This dinette converts into a bed. It also has a sofa right here, which will jackknife into a bed as well. So it's got a lot of sleeping out here. Kitchen area is really nice. A lot of big countertop area, three burner stove, oven, microwave. So it's got everything you would want. Little inconvenient with the door in the way of the, uh, of the fridge, but hey, it's not bad. I like the fact that the fridge is lifted up high off the ground so it's easy to get to. Separate freezer is always good. And then your TV would go right here. This has a little entertainment center with speakers. So you could sit out here and watch TV and, or videos or whatever your kids want to watch and really enjoy the area. This travel trailer has a different design than I've really ever seen where you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom, but it's accessible for everybody. You can just close your door and close yourself off in your bedroom. The bathrooms are really, really good size, separate shower, that all really works well. So lots of storage and a really good size bathroom. The bedroom itself, again, you know, decent storage, have a big shelf up top, nice deep cabinets, queen size bed. And the nice thing, again, uh, you can get out of bed from either side without disturbing your partner if you need to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom. So this is a travel trailer and uh, all the advantages of owning a travel trailer. So this is a fifth wheel RV and this is a type of RV that is towable, not drivable. The great thing about fifth wheels is they are big, they are amenity filled, they are spacious and they're amazing. Uh, the reason they can be so big is because of the way that they're towed and we'll go outside and I'll show you how that works. So the way that a fifth wheel attaches to a big pickup truck is it has a hitch that mounts right to the middle of the bed of the pickup truck and that's right over top of the pickup truck's axle. And so what happens is it transfers about 15 to 25 percent of the weight of a big fifth wheel to the back axle of the pickup truck. So you can tow a bigger, heavier load uh, because you've transferred that weight onto the back of the pickup truck. And the other advantage is that it drives a lot nicer when you're going down the road. It's very stable. Another big advantage to fifth wheels is all of the storage space that they have. Everywhere you look, everywhere you go around a fifth wheel, there's just a ton of storage. This one goes right straight through to the other side. The door's not open, but I mean, it's just a ton of space for storage. A lot of folks that live full time in a in an RV choose to live in a fifth wheel and for good reason. So as you can see, this thing is big and spacious. It has huge slide outs, which include your dinette area, plus a really comfy recliner, another sofa over here, big screen TV, fireplace, beautiful kitchen area. I mean, this looks as nice as a kitchen that you would have at home. It even looks nicer than our kitchen. This thing's gorgeous. So a lot of times fifth wheels are multi-leveled and we're walking up to the section that is over top of where it would attach to your pickup truck. But look at the size of this bathroom. It's gorgeous. Separate shower with glass doors. Very nice. And this is a really nice bedroom setup. It's big and spacious. It's got a king size bed. Tons of storage space. This one even has a built in dresser. You don't see that very often. <laughs> Look at all these drawers. A toy hauler is another type of RV that you can get. And you can get a toy hauler in all different classes and styles of RVs. Toy haulers are available in class A, class C, Super C, fifth wheels, travel trailers, and even pop-up campers are also, or can be, toy haulers as well. This particular toy hauler is just like any other travel trailer. It's got a bedroom, a bathroom, big living area, kitchen area but it also has a garage in the back where you can store and haul your toys let's check it out so one of the concerns that a lot of people have about a toy hauler is that it takes up a lot of space in your RV you lose living space toy haulers nowadays are designed so that 
the garage is multifunctional. So in addition to holding ATVs, motorcycles, whatever toys you want to load up in the back, they are also used as a, a dinette, a bed, there's a bathroom in the back of this garage, it's got its own separate air conditioner, and they even make the ramp into a deck that you can use. So toy haulers are extremely versatile, multifunctional, and they really serve well. Now one other area of concern for folks that get toy haulers is, is the gasoline smell from some of the toys that you have going to travel into the rest of the travel trailer. And they've even designed a way around that where they have a door that closes off the garage from the rest of the travel trailer. They also make the floors in here with a heavy duty rubber or metal material that you can clean out and keep things nice and clean. They have a, a, a throw rug, so you have a nice clean surface as well. So we're in the J-Feather X17, which is a travel trailer hybrid. And by hybrid, it, it just means that it's a travel trailer, but each end folds out like a tent camper, and you actually have two queen-size beds, one on either end of your travel trailer. I love this particular style. I just, for me, if you can sleep in a uh, and feel like you're sleeping in a tent that works for me and you have all the convenience of a travel trailer at the same time so this particular model has a queen size bed on each end all of your panels zipper down and so you can feel like you're sleeping outside in a tent which really is just the best as far as I'm concerned but it has all of the uh, modern conveniences as, as well this particular model, even though it's only 17 feet, when it folds out, it's much bigger. It can sleep, I would say, six people. Two on each end. And then this jackknifes into a little bed. And then, of course, your dinette would also be able to convert into a bed as well. Plenty of storage space. Cabinets everywhere. So all of that is fantastic. Also in the Jayco J Feather, uh, the kitchen area looks really super modern. You have a uh, three range stove, comes with an oven, don't see that very often. Also has a nice microwave. One thing I really like about this stove, nice big hood that vents outside, fantastic. The countertop material looks like granite, but it's a lighter a lighter for mica I believe and then one of the best features of all especially when you're camping with kids and all that fun stuff is that it has a full good size bathroom in here so it has a separate vanity shower toilet with plenty of room I learned the elbow trick from RV love so there's not a lot of elbow room on this side but plenty on this side so 50% eh, is not so bad but good size bathroom so, uh, and then at this end, another queen size bed that bumps out. So this is just a different kind of travel trailer. It's called a travel trailer hybrid. Has a lot of advantages. It's very lightweight, easy to tow. Uh, and you also have all of the extra sleeping space because the ends just fold out. So if you have a family of four or five or six, you need the extra space. This is a perfect option. So this, is a new pop-up camper and they have come a long way over the years these aren't like the old Coleman's that we all grew up camping in today's pop-up campers are filled with amenities very often they have bathrooms some of them even have slide outs and this particular one that we're in has both it's got a huge slide out for the dinette area this is fantastic about it and how much space it creates is amazing and it has a wet bath. Now you have to use curtains in these all the way around. You can see the track at the top, but still it's great to have a wet bath right inside your pop-up camper. And what happens is the walls actually break in half and fold down so that when you lower the roof of the pop-up, everything fits together. Uh, nice big queen bed sleeping area on the end. And then look at the amount of countertop space you have in the kitchen area. This is more than you see in most travel trailers. I mean, this is amazing. Range, oven, sink, microwave, and fridge, all right here. It's beautiful. On the other end, 
you actually have a little family room area. I mean, I've never seen a pop-up like this, but this this thing is huge. And uh, extra cabinet storage, you could put a TV in here, there's a cable TV hookup, and then you have another queen size living area. So the dinette also converts into a bed. So if you have a family and you want a pop-up camper, this is a fantastic one to get. The other big advantages of a pop-up are the price point, is very affordable and also they're easy to tow. You could own an SUV, uh, even a smaller pickup truck can tow a pop-up camper. So a lot of versatility, they're easy to store. Another type of RV that's popular on the market is an A-frame pop-up camper. These babies are light, you can tow them anywhere, any kind of car can tow them around, so they have a lot of advantages. They're pretty basic, not much more than camping in a tent, but it's a safe tent, it's a warm tent, it's a cool tent in the summer, has AC and heat, so they're pretty pretty top of the line. So let's head inside and check them out. A-frame pop-ups are a hard-sided pop-up camper, so one big advantage of them is that you can camp in some of the national parks that are in bear country, so that's a good thing. The A-liner A-frames are really pretty basic in nature. They have a nice area for about a queen-size bed for sleeping, a very small, basic kitchen area, most of them just come with a toilet, no shower. And then in the front, there's another small sleeping area and dinette area as well. Some of the features that you can add on to an A-frame pop-up camper include air conditioning, an outdoor grill, an outdoor kitchen, an outdoor shower, and they also have pretty good storage space underneath. For lots more information about RVing, check out some of our other YouTube videos, and you can also find us over on rvblogger.com. So please feel free to subscribe, leave us a thumbs up, and for Mike and Susan, we'll see you next time. Oh, where are the boys in the chorus? We hope you like the show. We know you're rooting for us, but now it's time to go. Always wanted to do that. <laughs> Get <laughs> <laughs>